Okay. This is the third time trying to do this full gameplay, Ymir. Um, first, let me explain that if you don't want to watch full gameplay footage, uh, it'll always be in the title. Just don't click on it. But this is something new I want to try out. There's a handful of people that said they want to see full gameplay unedited because, you know, when I edit things, it looks a lot better than it really is. And it's very true. Very true. <laughs> um, first, we'll start off my rank. Last seat, last split, I was like Diamond 5, Diamond 4. Now I'm Plat 1. This split has been horrible for me. Um, and now, well, let me also say, this is the third time recording. First time I was against Boxer. Great game. Awesome. It didn't record game sounds, so I had to scratch that. Second game, just had. It was against a Smurf, an on her Smurf. At first, I thought it was just like... I mean, I was being like outplayed like crazy, and... I was misplaying like crazy, like I missed a freeze that was would have got me a kill. But uh, then I checked, and he was a he's a Smurf account, like only has doesn't have a single Diamond God. Was Masters. It's kind of low level. Who am I banning? Uh, Agni. No, Poseidon. There's a reason to these weird bans. Anubis shreds tanks. Poseidon, you know, he's really annoying. Not so much that he's good against Smear, just that he's really really annoying. Uh, we're also gonna ban Agni. Same same reason, just gets away too easy. Early game is not a problem against Agni though. But yeah, here's the third time we're trying to do this. Uh, I kept, like even though the second game was going horribly, I just kept talking through it even though I knew I wasn't going to upload it. Um, it was really bad. Um, just to try and get some, like, get into the flow of things, of commentating. I, I stream, so I'm kind of used to it, but not so much like to myself. Usually I read chat and go off that and bounce back and forth. But this time we're just going to be doing it based on commentary. So we're against Mercury. Uh, this, Ymir destroys Mercury. Poor guy. Like, I don't, I don't think Mercury even has like much of a chance in this matchup. Like, Mercury does less damage than Ymir up close. The only time he can really catch me out is with his ult. That's about it. Everything else I can just kill him. Get the beads obviously for his uh, Mercury's 3. Without Mercury's 3, can't really do much. I've played this a lot with with a friend of mine and he has a lot of stars on Mercury and he doesn't. He, he loses a lot. I'm sorry man. <laughs> but it's, it's good. Maybe this Mercury will show me otherwise but I was hoping for a closer matchup. The box zero one was so good, but unfortunate. So we're going the Bancroft start. Usually I'll go the Boots start. Um, recently I've been doing that, but if I'm going for the snowball, so I just want to get the the Bancrofts because I'm almost positive I'm going to win the early game. The Bancroft start I think is more risky in a sense because if you fall behind, you can't get your defense online for a long time. Let's just do some damage to him. And by some damage, I mean all of his health. My lord. Oh, he got out of that. Nice maneuvering, I guess. Yeah, if you go the the Bancroft start and you fall behind, you got to get your boots next and then your defense. And by then, they probably have defense and pen, and you have a really hard time, you know, boxing them. Okay, I was scared he was going to steal that. Nah, I'm not going to waste my bees on that. However, I think I might be able to kill him here. Just don't miss the freeze. Nice. I uh, probably didn't use my potion. I could have just saved that. I'm always bad at using my potions when I shouldn't, or not using them when I should. Like now he's not level 5, so I can stay for this wave and I'll be fine. I think that's the only time he can actually catch me out. Really wanted a close matchup though. But yeah, please let me know in the comments feedback, like constructive criticism, whether it's good, bad, you know, anything. Like, I understand it's very different from my content, but people have, a handful of people have said, upload full gameplay, you know? So I'm like, you know what, I'll upload full gameplay, see what happens. P plus, I've been promising a couple of people for a long time, finally going through with it, though. Just having so many recording issues. Oh, nice. <laughs> uh, I'm out of mana, though. Really wish, oh my god, I got body blocked. He could, <laughs> he could have killed me there. We both have no mana, so if I get my ult and I just do this, what happens? Okay, he runs away, but can I kill him? Yeah. That answers that question. 
I just feel like Ymir out sustains Mercury, takes less damage than Mercury. Just kills Mercury. Like, Mercury can't do anything. I remember in Body Swap on stream, I was playing, uh, you know, the match a day where you pick your opponent's god. I w everybody would give me Guardians, but I would always give my opponent Mercury because I feel like Mercury doesn't have any great matchups in Duel. Like, maybe there's like one or two, but. In this meta, I just feel like there's no good matchups for him, really. Especially in Body Swap. Like, they give me a Guardian, and it's Mercury versus Guardian, and it's like, ouch. Is this a kill? Nah. That dash is too quick. Looks like he's going straight into the stone cutting, or he hastened. He should have went, he should have started boots for sure. Might just stop him from backing. Oh, I missed. That's no good. That's no good. So, yeah, now we have the power spike from Bancroft's. Gives a lot of power. Very nice. And once we'll probably go pen. No. Cooldown boots? Hmm. I'm not sure. Maybe maybe cooldown boots, because I'm doing plenty of damage. Then we'll go into Hide Nimian. And Hive Demian's great because it reflects physical damage, whereas he's going to be building magical protections. Just good stuff overall. I don't see anything I can really do to throw this match. This is probably the best you can get for your mirror. Ah, uh, now I'm contemplating of doing another game because, like, I don't know if, you know, fighting Mercury is that, you know, it's not a struggle, so it's not you know, as entertaining as it should be. Whereas if it's like back and forth, that's where it's entertaining. But I mean, Mercury still got some tricks up his sleeves. Like his auto attacks hurt, like big time. So if we're not careful, oh, he went to Haze Katana right away. Ooh, don't agree with that. I don't agree with it, Mercury. His katana is good against guardians, though. Helps you stick to them. Like once my CC, once I see see them, I should have used my beads. That's fine. He's dead. Why didn't he? So I canceled my ult early because I thought he was gonna, you know, all over me. But then he canceled his ult. I could have just killed him. I think he's dead either way because my wall's gonna come up. Depends on how fast his dash does. Perfect. Should've just used the dash to get away. Like even if I didn't have my beads there, I probably would've killed him. He might've got the kill though, if I didn't have my beads up. I don't know, it was, it was risky. That's for sure. Another thing I could go in this matchup is I could go attackers instead of mage's blessing. Just the mage's blessing gives so much mana and MP5. Like Ymir at level three, he has five MP5. That's so little. That's five mana every five seconds takes like an entire minute to get enough mana for one ability without it. So that's why I like the mages. I remember I, I did a mirror match with Rainian and I went attackers against him. He went mages blessing and he beat me <laughs> pretty badly so I've been I've been getting mages blessing a lot more. Trying to improve myself I guess. Trying to see what's best. We should probably go for uh, Bull Demon pretty soon because we have the damage for it and Mercury has no secure for it whereas I just ult for it. He's going to take that buff, that's fine. Yeah, I could just go for it now actually. I have enough mana with blue buff. I definitely have enough health. And also, you know, Bancrofts of course. So just use 4 auto attacks, then an ability. Just kind of do that. Best way to clear it. I might not even need ult. I might place my wall just to be safe. In case he tries to ult it, yeah. And let's back. Get him in. Oh god. Uh oh. Oh, I missed. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> See, I can misplay like crazy. Just, it's not him. It's Mercury. It's just like it's not the player. It's the god. Mercury just doesn't win this matchup at all. Like. Ouch. 
But like I said, that's the only time he can like kill me is if he catches catches me uh, off guard with my with his ult. He can kill me pretty pretty easy if I'm low health, but then it also can't kill me. It's just really really difficult for Mercury. Yeah, so let me know in the comments if I should continue this. Obviously, it would be a more, you know, oh my god, <laughs> a more balanced matchup. I'm missing everything now. He's taking a lot of damage from minions. Is he just gonna die here? That would be, that would suck. Yeah. Oh, he got travel shoes too. Yeah. I don't. I don't think the hasten was the way. Like, was the answer. But even if he went like a better build, it's just Mercury's way too squishy. I think Mercury could do it if he went double life still double defense, and that's in it in itself is a pretty bad build. Oh, I was gonna I was gonna place the wall. So we can place the wall between the Titans so that it doesn't do damage to us. Oh, I might die here, actually. Ah, if I hit that freeze. No, I didn't have enough mana for my two. Wait, did I never get my Dominion? Oh, that's right. I never backed. <laughs> I forgot to back after I killed him. Whoops. I have 4,000 gold. That's a mistake. Yeah, I probably shouldn't get to 4,000 gold. <laughs> Usually, like, 2,000 is the backing point, and 3,000 is overboard. <laughs> but it's mainly health and mana when you're actually backing. Uh, let's see. What should I buy against him? I guess thorns, just in case. Like, the only way, there's not really any way he can come back from this. Like, I don't, I don't see it. But like, if Mercury went like double, like from the start, he had in mind double protections, double life steal. I would have a hard time building against that because I need a lot of pen and a lot of anti heal. However, Toxic Blade exists now. Actually, no, that used to be a problem, but Toxic Blade exists now, so actually I wouldn't have a problem against that. So never mind, Mercury has no hopes, probably. Yeah, but if I if I do this again, it'll it'll probably be up against a Hunter next time. Ouch. Or maybe I'll do a two in one. Maybe I'll have this game first, and then I'll have another game next. That would be the best way, right? Best of both both worlds. Hmm. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. it depends on how long this video is. I'll, I'll I'll have to see. But thank you guys for watching. Let me see if I can do another one. Let's see. Okay, we are back. Let's get into another game. Hebo ban because Hebo's broken. Anubis ban because Anubis is broken. Against Guardians, I should say that. I don't know how... I mean, Anubis is pretty good right now. He's pretty insane. Agni and Poseidon, those are preference bans. I have never done preference bans in the past. I've always just banned the really OP gods, but... I've gotten to the point where I can beat the more OP gods. I just can't beat Poseidon and Agni. Like, those are the only two. It's kind of crazy. That's fine. So... The plan this game, well we can't really say the plan until we know who we're, we're up against, right? The plan is to win, right? Come on, ban faster. Okay, ba Boxer, Loki, Ulur, Scotty ban. Um, let's ban Agni, yeah. There's no other OP gods, right? Kali. Yeah, I'd rather ban Kali. Well, I haven't fought Kali in a long time. You know what? I'm, I'm curious. Let's see how Ymir does against Kali. Okay, yeah, we're against Kali. Okay, so the plan is when she leaps on us, freeze her. When she uses her beads, we wall her off. Basically, just keep her away during the ult duration, and we kill her. However, I haven't gone against Kali in a while, and she's gotten buffed quite a bit. Oh, look, it's Papa Wheelie, too. Ouch! Okay, so it's a good good Kali, too. We got this. We got this. Come on, let's. we can do this. Okay. Okay, so against Kali, yeah, I think I'll go the mages into boots. Yeah, yeah, because we're going to need that movement speed. I'll go chalice also. Well, yeah, yeah, I'll go the chalice. And then I'll also... Now, what do we want for her alt? Bracer? She might get anti-heal. If, if I'm going to go Bancroft, shell might be better. I think shell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
No problem. I was hoping for Callie. Chill out, Jeff. Pop Willie's an awesome dude. Okay, so I don't I don't know what we're gonna do exactly. This matchup I don't know that well. I recently have tried not banning Kelly, but I haven't actually gone up against her. So kinda new to this matchup. Well not new because I used to do it, but new in terms of like season four, season five. I haven't really had it in a long time. I know that Kelly's mana is like really bad, so if we make her use a bunch of abilities, that's good. Look at that damage! Oh, nice beads. I would have killed him there if he didn't beads. Yeah, I think he's just going to back, so we're going to just go straight for this. Perfect early aggression. There we go. Is he actually staying? He's crazy if he's staying. He's cr He's staying! Okay, we got to punish him. However, I'm out of mana. Ooh. Ooh, actually, am I the crazy one for staying? He's healing up quite a bit. Ah, I missed one minion. That's fine. Oh, I missed two minions. That's not fine. Okay. Um, clear this wave and back. Is that the plan? I think so. Because she's about to get level four, and I think she's going to come back after that blue buff. I hate how the archers sometimes don't line up for the two. It's really annoying. It's just back. Also get some mana potions, like two, two mana potions. That sounds good. Ooh, shell upgrade shell. No, 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 no. That could be a difference between a first blood or not, though. Like if he pops his ult and he doesn't like, suspect that I got the two absorb shots, that might have been worth it. That might have been worth it actually. Because chances are I'm gonna back and I'm gonna have money for boots either way. Oh well, would have, could have, should have. I don't upgrade relics early that much. No, that's not good. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> Callie's squishy, man. It's her late game that sh makes her shine, though. Please don't miss this. Sometimes the depth perception makes it really hard to hit that for some reason. I'm not going to dive because she has her ult, of course. She's going to miss out on a lot of XP and gold here, though. Let's go and get the mana buff. Okay, so we're ahead ever so slightly. Like 150 gold. I think we're about even in XP. Kind of glad I let Cali through because you know it's more more interesting than Mercury. I'm wondering if I'm gonna go bankrupt this game. I'm not entirely sure. Like it would be good, but at the same time it'd be really bad. <laughs> it depends. Like if I get Bracer second relic, I don't want to get bankrupt, you know. However, I'm probably gonna get Link second relic. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Oh shoot. That's fine. Oh, that's not as much fine. Yeah, if I had Bankrupt right now, I'd be able to heal a lot more. Okay, stay with the minion wave. Stay with the minion wave. Okay, we're gonna bait him with the shell. Oh, are we still dead though? Oh my god, no! Okay. That sucks. I got the I would have got the kill, but I backed off. Then I tried going back in with the ult. That's fine though, she didn't get the kill. Ooh, she's staying. And this this is up. Yeah, she's not gonna stay. Perfect. Okay, we got red buff. That's fine. I didn't get the kill, but I got red buff. I think we'll go for pen boots, actually. Cooldown boots? No, cooldown boots. Cooldown boots. And I'm actually going to get my breastplate online. Not mid guardian. I'm going to get breastplate for the cooldowns. That way I can, like, freeze her and stuff more. That helps, like, self peel. Especially the wall. When she leaps on me, just putting down the wall and keeping her away. I have to do it before she stuns or, like, after she stuns. If I do it during her stun, it puts me in a horrible spot. We can actually go and steal that buff, I think. Uh, we're going to double upgrade the, the two here. Get it to the max.
Okay, I, we have buff control now. Very good, getting a nice lead against her. Now I'm wondering, is it worth it to go for Bully Min soon? Or should I just try and push tower? Hmm. Because if I push tower, her leap is down right now, actually. I'm doing a little bit of poke damage. Did she get defense? Yeah, she did get defense. Okay. Let's see how much damage we do here. Oh, sh should be a kill here. Nice first blood. She didn't clear wave either, so I get to take, uh, I mean, now I'm even more ahead, you know? She missed out on the archers and the melees. Melees? Man, Twitch chat always gets me on me on that. Because I say, m what, what do I say? I don't even remember what I used to say, but it's melee, and that just sounds so weird, considering how it's, you know, spelled. I think I used to say melee, melee. I guess that sounds weird too. Just a weird word. I want to go for building, but at the same time, oh, let's pick this up. I want to wait until the tower is down, you know? I might go mid guarding this game. Most likely, actually, will. She's slow me in her alt, though, right? Not entirely sure, to be honest. Still got to be careful for her late game. That Genji's is gonna. What's gonna happen is she's gonna leap in. I'm going to use my freeze and that Genji's is going to proc and she's going to get her leap up again so I can't alt or anything like that. So that really sucks. Such is life. Hopefully we can get Obsidian online soon. Divine Ruin might actually be kind of worth it too. Callie has a decent amount of healing on her one and stuff. And even like if she tower dives and I have Divine Ruin, like she might die to Phoenix or something even if she kills me. That's that's less likely though. She she'll still heal quite a bit. Wait for that leap. Good thing she didn't use her stun there. Okay, nice. So my wall actually blocks her stun, but I guess I used it too late there. Ah, that sucks. I should have waited for my freeze to be up. Four second two. This is actually pretty good have it every four seconds. <laughs> I literally just spam, spam it like crazy. Okay, bait out the leap. Ah, that sucks. Oh. Shoot. That sucks. That really sucks. I don't have Bancrofts either. Is she staying? I'll stay if you stay. I'll stay if you stay. Nice! Oh man, that was close. That was so close with the stun. Oh man. That was really close. Nice. Oh, my heart's racing a little bit. Really close. Jeez, oh, we should clear this. I should spend more time clearing wave and taking buffs than typing. Okay, we gotta... We gotta skedaddle on out of here. Okay, I'm glad I did this game after all, not just the Mercury one. Even if I lose. Okay, let's see. Bancrofts. Okay, so what do we want? What do we want? What do we want? Choose, choose, choose. Uh, blink. Yes. So that way, even if she uses the Genji's Garb, she leaps in. Genji's Garb leaps, it, uh, leaps out. I can blink on her and kill her. Or, of course, just, you know, if she's low health or anything. Give us that mobility. We're not that far ahead, though. This is not <laughs> even close to a victory yet. But that doesn't mean we're, you know... We're not going to win it. We're in a pretty good spot. Like, I have my pan online right now. So I'm doing a decent amount. Is her ult down? What's up? Nice. Very nice. Uh, I could probably take this tower when this wave, you know, gets here. It's going to take a little bit. Whew, this is going so well. 
I had to look over at my second monitor to make sure it's recording. Just my luck that it wouldn't be, but it just turns out it is. How much gold does tower even give? See, these are things I need to learn. I don't even know how much gold tower gives. I think it's like 100. 100 gold? That doesn't sound right. Maybe 200. 100 to 200? That does sound right. Oh, bad play. Bad play. Bad play. That's fine. Use that self peel. Oh, that's bad too. I might need to leap out. It depends. Nope. Might give up my blue buff. That's worth it though. Gal jail free card. Yeah, it looks like she's going to get it. That's okay. I was thinking about going back in on that. Ooh, I want to wait for Bancroft's. Yeah, I'm going to wait for it. Yeah, my minions are pushed all the way up there. I'm, I'm okay to wait. And I don't think she's going... Yeah, she's in mid. I was going to say, I don't think she's going to go for a sneaky bull demon. Alright, with these items, I do a lot of damage and... I heal a lot and I have a lot of sustain. Next times could be either Polly. Um, yeah, Polly. I don't, I don't actually. I actually can't think of anything else. Just Polly. What could the last item be? I don't. I mean, we could get Mid Guardian. Mid Guardian would be nice. Okay, nice beads. Yeah, we might need to get Mid Guardian actually. Oh shoot, not good. Not good when that happens. Very bad when that happens. Let's not use a three here. There it is. Oh, that shell. Wait, wait, I blink. Oh no, she's running away. Where is she? Nice! The blink was the right choice after all. Can we take this? No, we need the poly. <laughs> Papa Wheelie's a great dude though. Like, he really is. He streams as well. Let's get that poly online. Where is it? Oh yeah, it's not in this tree anymore, huh? Can I sell my blessing? No, it's too expensive. Alright, we can get wards. Wards are pretty important in duel, just to make sure. It's not... <laughs> they help a decent amount, but for the most part, it's just for your sanity. That way you don't gotta worry about bold. I mean, you don't gotta worry about those things. You just ward up and you can focus on other things. Plus, if they're getting away and you gotta choose which way they went, you just know. It's worth the gold by easily. I have a bad habit of getting them too early in the game, though. Bad freeze, but that's fine. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, really bad. Lucky. Really lucky that she didn't turn around there. Like, right away. Ooh, her leap is down. Nice. That shell was the right choice. I'm glad I went shell. I mean, Bracer would have done the same exact thing, but, you know, late game if she gets anti heal. He didn't juke. <laughs> Still don't have Polly, so I can't take this. That's the most upset upsetting part about this. Still don't have Polly. Alright, now we have Polly. What do I get next? I don't know what to get. Divine Ruin? No, Mid Guardian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need. It's Cali. <laughs> Gotta respect the Cali. Alright, let's not sell that. I gotta respect the Cali. I gotta get mid guardian, like double defense, otherwise I'm gonna lose. If I don't get mid guardian, like I instantly kill her, but she'll kill me just, you know, with her ult. Cause the longer this game goes on, the longer her last her ult lasts, right? Like fully upgraded ult is a long time for Cali. Does she have a ward? She doesn't have a ward, so I wonder if she's trying to sneak that. Nah, it doesn't look like it. Maybe I should try and sneak it. Force a fight. If I use my ult to secure it, though, I don't think I can kill her. I do have Polly now, though. Hmm. Let's 
Mr. Beats up? Yeah. Nice. Ah, that sucks. My ult didn't go off in time. There's a Genji's garb leap that I was talking about. I'd probably kill her. E, I don't know. I oh, shouldn't walk back into it. That's unfortunate. She actually didn't have to run back there because my blink was up because um you know the arches were on me, so I wouldn't have been able to blink even if I wanted to. Doing a lot of damage though. Like a lot of damage. Ah. Uh, close. Ah. Uh, she's doing a good job at defending. I didn't actually know if her leap was like up already or not. But it was, it was worth it. Like I wasted the blink by me and it was worth checking. Checking if I could get that kill or not. Okay, be careful. Oh god. This is not the definition. Be careful. I trapped myself in my own wall. Oh my god. <laughs> I trapped myself in my own wall. That's embarrassing. Okay. What can I buy here? Midgarden, right? Midgarden is a nice item. It's a nice item. I don't like the base protections on it. Like, it's only 40. It's like, eh, 350 health is nice, I guess. Warlocks only gives 500 now, so it's like more than half of a Warlocks. Gotta sell these wards, actually, unfortunately. Yeah, she's gonna get Tower off that, but not Phoenix. Phoenix is where... If you lose Phoenix as a Guardian, that's really where it sucks. Like, Tower's nothing, but Phoenix, ouch. There's some Guardians that do need Tower desperately, though. I'd say Ymir... Ymir plays well from ahead or behind. Well, not as well from behind, but I mean, you know, he can still win. But, um, like, once you take Phoenix as Ymir, that's when it's, like, really hard f to lo actually lose. Because Ymir can kill Titan so easy compared to, you know, compared to the Phoenix. Phoenix takes a while. Did she get red buff also? I think she got red buff. That's unfortunate. Nice! Look at that damage! So if she uses the leap in place, I just ult. If she leaps away, she doesn't get anything out of it. So that's kind of difficult for her, you know? Thank you. And now we have the poly, finally with the minion wave, and now we can just bop the phoenix down. Used to do way more damage as Ymir. So you just do four basic attacks and then use an ability. Not too difficult. It's kind of funny that poly matches perfectly with uh, Ymir's passive. Meant to ult, not beads. Oh, I see. I got my ult ready again, actually. It's her ult up though. She doesn't have that cooldown like me. Oh no. Yes she does. With Genji's garb. I'd be able to kill her anyways. Oh man. Really thought she was gonna die there, but she had the shell. I can stay because of my Bancrofts, but her ult is coming up. But so is mine. My ult is coming up. I think her ult is up like right now. So, you know. Use fire minions to our advantage. Oh, it actually doesn't block her stun. Could have sworn it did. Guess not. Guess it does not. She already got a power potion. Not good. Maybe I should back and get my power potion, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to risk this. She's going to kill me if I stay. Like, yeah, I might win, but why not just go back, guarantee the win by getting my power potion and getting some potions. Yeah, so we'll get that, then we'll do this potion trick. And we'll get another one just in case. 
Uh, we'll also upgrade Shell. Oh, I should have done that first. <laughs> uh, is Shell already upgraded? No, it's not. I should have done that before I did the potion trick. Yeah, but this just gives you a bunch of regen. It really helps in combat, especially since I have the Chalice also. She's gonna get a red buff. Whoops, should have been paying attention to that. I think she's dead here no matter what. Oh, maybe not. Is she gonna get away? Ooh. Ooh. Get him, idiot! Idiot! Yes! <laughs> I couldn't kill her there, but min the minions got me. They got my back. That was a good game. It was still kind of one-sided, though. But that was that was really good. That went a lot better than expected. I've been banning Kelly this whole time, but the truth is, just ban Poseidon and Agony. Those gods, oh, they're so annoying. You don't even lose due to them. You lose more that they make you so mad that you want to leave the game. But, yeah. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I'm really glad I played that second game. Um, I hope everybody has a... Has a good day. Thank you for watching. And leave some constructive criticism below. Um, I probably, the truth is, I probably won't continue this. It depends on the feedback. Like, if pe if I see, like, I don't want people in subbing. That's the last thing I want. And I love making my other content. It's just that it's spread far in between. And also, these are, uh, you know, these show the actual gameplay unedited. Shows what actually happens. So, hope everyone has a good day. And thank you for watching.